Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. You know, real authentic black powder is actually getting kind of rare. You know, most sporting goods stores only seem to carry the black powder substitutes, of which Pyrodex is by far the most prolific. Now, Pyrodex comes in three flavors. Uh, there's the RS grade, uh, which is formulated for use in muzzle-loading rifles and shotguns. There's the P grade, which is formulated for use in muzzle-loading pistols. And then there's what they call Pyrodex Select, uh, which is, as I understand it, basically the RS grade but with tighter quality control. So it should provide a little bit better consistency and presumably a little bit better accuracy. Well, I've got all three uh, flavors of Pyrodex out here at the range today. So I'm going to load up this home-built muzzle-loading rifle with 100 grains of Pyrodex and a 350-grain cast lead mini ball. Uh, and we're going to try shooting the rounds over a chronograph to measure the velocity and shooting some targets to check the accuracy. And we'll do that with all three flavors of Pyrodex and see how they compare. Well, the results are in, and incidentally, I've moved the camera inside because it was getting kind of cold and dark out there, but uh, I fired 10 shots over the chronograph and into a target that was set up at 25 yards with each of the three different flavors of Pyrodex, and with the RS grade, I got an average velocity of 1,703 feet per second. Uh, with a standard deviation of 30 feet per second. With the grade P, I got an average velocity of 1,682 feet per second uh, with a standard deviation of 24. And with the select Pyrodex, I got an average velocity of 1,648 with a standard deviation of 28. Uh, so, the RS appears to be the hottest, it gave me the highest measured velocity. Uh, the Select is the coolest, it gave me the lowest uh, measured velocity. And the Grade P is sort of in between those two. Uh, somewhat surprisingly, the Grade P actually gave me the most consistent results. It had the lowest standard deviation. Uh, which, again, is somewhat surprising because the grade P is really formulated for use in pistols, and here I'm using it in a long-barreled rifle. Uh, nevertheless, the results are really pretty comparable for all three. Um, you know, the, the standard deviation is of about the same magnitude for all three groups, and... Uh, I'd probably have to fire more than 10 shots to really determine if those standard deviation values are uh, significantly different for any of these three. Uh, the group size is also pretty comparable, although I should probably mention that towards the end of the testing, I was getting pretty cold and tired, you know, and I shot them in this order, the RS first, then the P, and then the Select. Uh, and so... I would expect that the level of shooter error in these groups uh, increased iteratively over the three targets. And so where we can kind of see the group size opening up uh, for these three, I would take most of the credit for that as shooter error rather than blaming it on 
uh, any characteristics of the propellant itself. Uh, so I think mostly what we learned from this experiment is that at least in this particular rifle, it doesn't really matter what grade of Pyrodex I use because they all give pretty comparable results. Um, anyway, until next time, thank you for watching The Idahoan Show.